Hello there, everyone. Welcome to my craft room. My name is Dara Walter of Pickled Peppers Creative Cafe at pickledpeperscreative.com and welcome. Welcome to Leap Day. It is the last day of February 2024. So it is February 29th. We have an extra day in February this year and what that means around here at Stampin' Up! is that we also have an extra day for celebration. So now if you have been hanging out with me at all this month or since the beginning of the year, you have heard us talking about celebration. It's a promotion that Stampin' Up! does at the beginning of the year in which you can earn free products just for shopping. And it is now a two month long campaign and today marks the end of that campaign. So we have a few more hours to shop celebration and then we are moving on to new things in fact um, starting tomorrow we have some new online exclusives that we'll be able to take a peep at as well and so yeah tonight we're just going to we're going to make a cute project hi anna welcome thank you so much for being here excited that you're here welcome 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 I'm just chatting a little bit. I am a couple of minutes late. Um, I had a little bit of problem flipping my camera in the right direction so we you can see you can see what we're doing in the right orientation. But here we are. So we're just gonna chat for a quick second. Um, and so what we're gonna do is take a quick stroll through the celebration catalog um, and then we're gonna look at a few cards that we made along the way, and then we're gonna create something cute. We have a fun fold. It is using a combination of um, products from our current uh, mini offering, and then a coordinating celebration product. So why don't we go ahead and get turned down um, we'll take a look at those things and then we'll get started creating. Anna, I hope that you're having a good week. How was your week? Come on in, everyone. Come on in. I'm super excited to wrap up celebration. And oh my gosh, you guys, the online exclusives. There are some cute things there as well. Can't wait to show them to you. Oh my gosh. I think we are screwed in a little tight here. There we go. Okay, hang on to your hats. <laughs> here we go, let's take a ride, shall we? All right, oh gosh, that looks like a good position. I'm almost afraid, uh, just a little bit afraid to move us at all. All right, here we go. I won't make it too tight this time. I, I, I think at least I'll try not to. Let's get us in a good place. All right, let's find our bearings. All right. Does that look like a good place? <laughs> so yes, thank you, thank you so much for being here. So Thursdays are the days, um, if you are new here, that we um, come and do something creative. And like I said, since the beginning of the year, we have been working on celebration. So it's this little brochure here that has, um, selections of free products you can earn just for shopping or if you wanted to purchase the starter kit let me talk about that while we're here as well if you purchase the starter kit you can either um, get extra select extra products in your kit or you can select this um, stampin glass matte studio which has a lot of fun things in there so we won't spend a lot of time on it but i did want to um, mention that or you could host you could host um you could host your friends for a gathering and earn more in that way and then like i said you can just shop and earn free products so hi marie welcome happy thursday happy crafty thursday super excited that you're here somehow i think maybe 
let's see, I think we need to tilt forward a little bit. I'm always so afraid. You guys, twice I've dropped you on your head and that made me a little nervous. There we go. I, you guys are my crafty buddies and I don't want to drop my friends on their heads. <laughs> All right, so um, if you're new here, welcome, come on in. Um, I'd love for you to hang out with us. And like I said, we're gonna take a look at um, a, a quick stroll through the catalog and then we're gonna look at a few cards that we made and then I have a super cute card um, for you tonight, a fun fold that I hope you you love as well. So let me know um, if you're watching live or if you're watching the replay and also chat with me while we're creating. I love to chat with you um, as we're as we're making. All right. So let's flip through the brochure one last time, shall we? Um, the brochure is going away. Tonight is the last night. So um, this is a good way to stretch your crafting dollars. Um, and you can do so until midnight tonight. So there is, and I, for, I forgot to pull out um, the cards that we made using the um, watercolor melon stamp set, but this is my absolute favorite. I love watermelon. There's some cute, cute cards that you can make with that stamp set. Um, there is the Sunny Days Designer Series paper, and it also matches, it coordinates with, um, let's see, does it tell us? Oh, the Bright Skies Bundle um, that is in the mini catalog. So there's some cute Designer Series paper. We're just going to do it this way because if I pull all of that paper out, we'll be here, um, we'll be here all night <laughs> because there's a, there's a lot to go through. This um, is a very, very popular choice. It is called the Flight and Airy Designer Series Paper. It's my favorite one from the um, Celebration brochure. It has very cute little birds. You're going to see, um, I did, I was mindful enough to grab a card or two out. Look at that one though. Isn't this so adorable? Yeah, the, that paper is really popular. I hope it's still available. I think it is. Um, we saw this, I think, last week, the Cradled in Love. It was a surprise for me. I, I was on the fence about it. We'll see the card that we made with it. It was super cute. Um, here we have the Softly Stippled 12 by 12 Designer Series paper. It also coordinates with um, the Stippled Rose Bundle from the mini catalog, the current mini catalog. Beautiful Designer Series paper. Um, the most adorned or most adored 12 by 12. There's some metallic paper there. It does also, excuse me, coordinate with a um, hybrid heart embossing folder. Um, I think we're pretty much near the end. Here is a stamp set, Heartfelt Hellos. Gosh, you guys, you cannot go wrong with sentiments. And this one is really nice because not only is it free, but look, there's something for Mother's Day, Father's Day, a hello, love, enjoy, and Easter. So it encompasses, it's very versatile. I'll put it that way. This actually is what we're going to be seeing tonight. We didn't see this all during celebration. I have a twist on it. I think you guys are going to like it. I think it's super, super cute. Um, but the uh, trusty toolbox and the Trusty Tools 12 by 12 Designer Series paper. Wait until you see what we do with it. Um, this I didn't actually showcase too much and I didn't get, and I think they're dies with this that are sold out, but it's called Jungle Pals if you like animals and jungle animals. And then yeah, the dies. I'm not so sure that the dies are still available. Um, Oh my gosh, the softly sophisticated. We'll do a. We'll see this for um, um, for a quick moment. We'll see cards and the um, uh, embossing folder. So it's a bundle. This is my second favorite stamp set. Let's move this paper out of the way. The little sticky note. Um, but this is called the Detailed Dogwood. It is, I can't even tell you how beautiful it is. 
And that's it. All right, so if you didn't have a chance to shop during celebration, or if you're not done, there's still time. All right, so let's go ahead and put this away. It's done after tonight. And then um, I just want to share with you a handful of cards that that we made along the way using some of those um, products. Gosh, I may even have some duplicates here. Let's look at... Um, I should probably... Well, let's just, we'll go through them. I don't want to spend too much time because um, we have some creating to do. Here is the Flight and Airy. Isn't this the cutest? Look at that little bird. This is the sweetest birthday card, is it not? And let me see, I have another version of that card that I made in the pink. Here we go. So I think it is um, Flirty Flamingo with two different birds. I just fussy cut them out. The cutest ever. Let's take a look at a couple of more. Here's the um, Flight and Airy as well. There's another cute card using that designer series paper. Here is the detailed dogwood. And look, we made a an easel card. Isn't this the cutest? All right, let's do one or two more. I think you need to see my favorite. Um, but before that, let's see. Remember I told you about the Cradled in Love? I was on the fence about it. Look at how cute these cards came out. We have two different versions. And I this made me glad that I chose that, that stamp set because I almost did it. And then my number one favorite, oh, cute, cute, right? Here's another of that dogwood. Is that not beautiful? I The detail on that stamp set is amazing. And then my um, absolute favorite using the detailed dogwood, I think maybe because it is um, very mixed media and artistic looking, and it's another easel card. Cute, right? So there's lots of cute stuff there. Those are just some of my favorites I wanted to share with you. Um, and like I said, if you want to shop celebration, you still have a few more hours and then um, we're done until next year. All right, so we've spent enough time chatting around. Let's go ahead and get started creating. So um, let me pull out. Remember I said that we were using the trusty tools. Let's pull that out. So the trusty tools is um, tools, right? It's a stamp and die. Let's turn these over so you can see the dies. Look at how many dies are in there. There are lots of dies. So there's like a drill, wrenches, hammer, um, all sorts of fun tools there. And my favorite is the paintbrush. So we're gonna be focusing on that paintbrush. Now I'm gonna show you also, there is a free celebration choice. It is the um, 12 by 12 designer series paper of the same name. And um, because we're gonna be using this tonight, I think I will at least show you the designer series paper. And let's just pull it out because I am not the greatest at flipping through when it's still inside of the wrapper. Um, but this is what we have. So the reason that I'm so enamored with this is that many of the tools can be used in the dies to cut from the designer series paper. It makes creating really quick and um, painless and I'm a huge fan of that. I'm a huge fan of coordinating dies anyways um, and shapes, but yeah, so this is what we have. The colors are vivid, so this is Poppy Parade. One of my favorites, it's like an orangish red. There's some Crushed Curry, my favorite yellow. 
and it looks very masculine unless you're a tool girl like me when i saw that stamp set the first thing i thought is i'm gonna stamp some pink tools <laughs> and make something a scrapbook page or a card so this is one side of it and then let's go ahead and we'll take a quick look here look at the pegboard so there's pegboard and there's nuts and bolts and yeah so nice paper and let's go ahead and see what we're gonna do with this nice paper tonight let me put it aside I'm gonna put it up high because otherwise I'm afraid it will end up all over the place also I am using um, the deckled circle dies because you guys know that I love circles and any chance that I get I use them tonight's no different I have the black and white gingham ribbon that we're gonna be using as well and then let's pull out all of our pieces for tonight's card so there's a little bit of cutting and I'm gonna show you I cut the card base but there's a little more cutting that we need to do. Let's get this out of the way. There's a little more cutting that we need to do and I want to show you so that you'll understand how we arrived there. There's not a lot. So I have a bow. I tied it ahead of time so we didn't have to see that. And then remember the dies I said that coordinated with the um, coordinated with the designer series paper. We cut this paintbrush and so we're gonna be using this as well. Super fun. All right, so for our card base, we have a half sheet of cardstock. It is eight and a half by five and a half. We have scored it at four and a quarter to make an A2 card, I believe. I always, get mixed up with A2 and A4. But this is our standard card, and this is our card base. And this time our card is going to open um, kind of flip top. So we call this, I think an A-frame, we call this maybe an A-frame fold because it looks like a rooftop, right? So we do need to do a little bit of cutting here though, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in a minute, but let's go ahead and talk about the other pieces that we have. I have a backup here, but we have, remember I said that red um, was Poppy Parade. We're using the pattern that has the screwdrivers. Did you guys see that? Did you notice that? That's the pattern that we're going to be using. And so we do, um, as I said, we have two deckled circle die cuts. We have one that's Poppy Parade and then one that is basic white. I have an extra here. I like to do that in case I uh, make a mistake and we need to grab another one. We don't have time to cut it. And then we have our little paintbrush that we cut. Um, let's see. So if you caught it or not, there was a whole sheet of um, the screwdriver designer series paper with that pattern on it. And so I've cut six one by four pieces. Does that look intimidating? It's not. Wait until you see what we do with it. And then we have a three by four, I believe. Let's double check. It's actually two and three quarters by four. And it's the same designer series paper, but we're going to use the reverse side. And let me see that color gray. I want to say, let's go ahead and take a look. I'll tell you what that gray is. Um, oh dear, I can't see it without my glasses. Oh, it's gray granite. So it's gray granite. So we have that. And then we have um, a piece of, I think this is the three by four. Yes, we have a piece of basic white that's three by four. Now, when you guys um, order stamps from Stampin' Up. If you get the photopolymer stamps, which these are cling. Oh no, I'm sorry, they're photopolymer. So 
if you get the photopolymer stamps, they come, let's throw that right away, they come on an acetate sheet. We made a card before and I told you guys that whenever I get the um, photopolymer cards, I like to save the acetate sheets and I use them for shaker cards and window cards. And tonight we're gonna have a card with kind of a floating element. So um, on the inside of your stamp case, the images for all of your stamps will be there. And I like to just peel them off and match them up. And then I keep the acetate. So we're gonna be using a piece of that acetate too. I've already cut it, but I have a piece here and I've cut it to one by four. So we have a one by four piece of acetate. You'll need that too. All right, let's get started, shall we? So remember our card is going to flip open in this orientation. And in order, to, um, in order to make our elements pop and look like they're not attached to the card, we're gonna cut this, we're gonna cut this card base a little bit. So I'm gonna bring in my um, Stampin' Trimmer and I'm gonna burnish my card fold one more time. So what we need to do is we need two cuts at one and a quarter inch up each side of the card front, and we're only going to cut from the edge to the score mark. So the score mark, this is the four and a quarter score mark, okay? So in order to do that, I'm gonna open my trimmer and I'm gonna open the card because I, I know that I want to go in one and a quarter inch, and then I'm going to cut it up to the four and a quarter inch score line, okay? So I'm gonna slide this right over. If you have the Stampin' Trimmer, um, here is your regular ruler and the groove is the zero, zero mark, right? And then to the right of it, as it's facing you, it goes in the opposite direction. So you see that one inch there? When I'm going an inch to an inch and a half, instead of going on this side, which I could totally do, I could go to that one and a quarter inch here, um, and I can do it on the right of the zero mark or the groove. I like to do it to the right because there's also a ruler here that starts at zero this way and then it goes down to oh 12, 13 inches. So if I move this away, the, the basic black is kind of dark so you can't see but I'm gonna take my cutting blade and I know that I want to cut, we did something similar I think last week, but I know that I wanna cut at four and a quarter of an inch. So I'm just gonna line my groove up here to that just before. I, I'll use my scissors to snip the, the remainder. And then I will go ahead, like I said, I'm going to push my card base over to the one and one quarter inch place. And then I have my um, cutting blade at four and a quarter because that's where the score mark is. And I'm just gonna make, oh, this is my scoring blade, not the cutting blade. So make sure that you have the scoring blade. And I'm gonna make it just a little bit shy because I don't wanna go over that mark. And then I'm gonna flip it over and do it again. So on both sides, that's the most painful part of our card tonight. So once again, I'm gonna move, let's move this back. The black is kind of hard to see. And I'll put this at about 
four and a quarter, slide this over to one and a quarter and slice. This is what we have, okay? And this is the front of our card. Kind of flipped it the opposite way. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of this. That is the most painful part of what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna take my um, scissors and make sure that I cut right up to the score line. All right, so I think I might have flipped it the wrong way. So I'm gonna burnish it one more time. So we made a similar card, I think before. There's a card that you can make where you would glue down the outer um, flaps that we just created here. But this time we're not gonna do that, okay? We're gonna leave these. And then um, we're going to bring in that piece of acetate, and then I have my Stampin' Seal Plus. And we're going to put this right in the center. But this is the outside of the front of our card, so before we do that, we're going to flip everything open. We'll flip it right open, and we're going to glue this to the inside. Okay, we're going to glue this to the inside of our card. We want that center piece down, I should say that. We need these two fingers in the air and we need the center piece down. All right, and then if you're not comfortable with straight lines, you see how I'm kind of using the grid lines for placement? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my Stampin' Seal Plus and I'm gonna put a little bit on each end. Yeah, we made a bridge card like this and it's the exact same measurements, um, but the card has worked a little bit differently. All right, and then just kind of in the center here. It doesn't have to be exactly in the center. I'm gonna put that piece of acetate right down. And give a nice press. Okay, so here's what we have. You see that? Kind of interesting looking. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is while we have this open, let's go ahead and work on the inside. And we're going to put two of our one by four strips on the inside of the card, leaving about maybe an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch border. Can you see that? And then the basic white mat is gonna go right in the center. So if you want to kind of place it so that you can see how far out you want to adhere, it kind of is a guide. Can you see how we have even borders? So we can go ahead and glue these three elements down. All right, so let's start on the outside. And I'm just going to kind of make all three sides on the outside, the top, the bottom, and the edge kind of even. I'll do the same thing on this side. And then it kind of um, allows me to place the center mat where we'll do our stamping. It will allow me to place that mat and leave an even gap, or at least what looks even. I'm okay with eyeballing. Now, if you like to stamp your sentiments before you attach your mat to the inside of the card, I would recommend doing it before you attach it, just in the event that you make a mistake and you need to flip it over. But I am, I'm not gonna take the time to do that. There we go. 
All right, so we have four more pieces of designer series paper. Hi, Nympha. Hello. Oh, you're so cute. Thank you for being here. I'm excited that you could make it. Happy Crafty Thursday. Happy Leap Day. The happy last day of celebration. All right, so we're going to put two of the pieces of designer series paper opposite of the first two that we did. So we're kind of covering that little acetate edge so that it's a little less conspicuous, right? And a little more decorative. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. All right. There we go. Okay, so let's flip this down. So this is what we have so far. So while we're at it, let's put our remaining two pieces of designer series paper on. And if you hadn't guessed already, they're gonna go here on the outside of, of our card. So we're gonna adhere them to the outer two flaps that we created. Those flaps seemed a little intimidating, but they're not. If you remember, um, I can't remember exactly, but we made a very similar bridge card and we used cardstock instead of the acetate. We used cardstock across the middle. All right, and then here's our final piece. And we'll pop this right down in the center. All right. So this is what this is what it looks like right now. Can you see that? Let's turn it to make sure that you can see the entire. Is that not fun? All right, so these are our remaining pieces. So this card, you guys, it's super, it looks complicated, but it's not, it's super simple. So remember, we have the largest piece of designer series paper that's gonna go in the center here. We're gonna use the back, the reverse side that has that gray granite. And then we're not gonna go over the acetate, so we just want it on the card front, right on the card stock, on our basic, black cardstock so let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and adhere that down because the more pieces that we can secure and give a home the fewer we have to worry about losing place or losing track of misplacing that's what I was thinking okay here we go. I don't know, I I think I might stamp that inside. So in the, um, in the trusty tool stamp set, there are, so this is geared right towards Father's Day. So there's dad, happy Father's Day, thank you. Um, and you're the most awesome. I think anybody can be the most awesome. Oh, Nympha, you, thank you, Beth. Hello. Nympha, you said you think you missed something important. It's okay because you'll be able to go back and watch the video. So it is, it is um, just those cuts there are, um, they look intimidating, but go back and watch the video and you'll see they're, they're super easy. Okay. So they're mostly easy. <laughs> um, but so I think anybody can be, you're the, you're the most awesome, right? So I think I'm gonna go ahead. I don't normally, but let's grab some black memento. Let's see. I'm gonna put that, you're the most awesome. Oh, it's pretty sizable too. Look at that. I love stamps that carry a lot of, take up a lot of real estate. Look at that, Dad. Isn't that dad pretty awesome? 
pretty darn chunky. And that paintbrush, I forgot to point out to you. So there are dies that match that paintbrush, but it's two-step stamping. So look at the paintbrush here. This is to fill in the handle of the paintbrush. And then this is to put paint on the bristles of your paintbrush. Can you see that? Super, super fun. So, but that, um, that sentiment, we're gonna use that, um, you're the most awesome. And we're gonna put this right down. So if you have dads, hey, you can get started on your Father's Day cards and have them done. Or just the cool, the cool guys, if you don't have a dad that you want to share a Father's Day card with. We're making a girly card tonight, though. Wait until you see. All right, so let's ink this up. And we'll stamp our sentiment right down here in the center. You're the most awesome. I should actually be using a mat, but it's okay. I'm a bit of a rebel at times. All right, we will put this away though. I don't want to lose track of it. All right, so let's put some finishing touches here. That's all the stamping that we're going to do. That's all the stamping that we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and close our card up and we'll do a little bit of finishing. So remember I have the deckled circle die cuts. We have the poppy parade and we have the basic white. We're gonna layer them and they're gonna go right here in the center of our card. But we're gonna do a little bit of decorating before we do that and I think maybe, hmm. So we'll put this down with the Stampin' Steel Plus and then um, maybe we'll put some dimensionals here. We're gonna put our little paintbrush. You see, this paintbrush um, actually came from the coordinating that designer series paper today. So I just used the die to cut it out. Um, and um, I don't know, let's put this aside for a minute. I'll decide what's gonna be dimensional and not. All right, so I have my bow here. I have my paintbrush that I die cut before we got started and I forgot to tell you that um, we're using this bow punch and I have here parakeet party um, some scrap parakeet party um, cardstock and we're gonna punch out a couple of these bows so I'm after that larger one okay and I want two of them. And you can save that little, the little one if you want, or you could even use it if you wanted. Maybe it might be interesting if we used one also that was um, gray granite. Hmm. Maybe we'll try it, we'll see. So let's get another one. We're after that larger one, so this is the one we're gonna use, and we'll save that. I don't know, maybe I'll use it later. And then, shall we, let's see if we'll get a little gray granite. We'll play with it. I'm not sure if I, I want it. Um, I'm not sure if I want it there. Let's make sure this is gray granite. Nope, that's smoky slate. Let's see, I have a few grays here. And sometimes hard to know. There we are, gray granite. Oh, it's a lighter gray. Okay, but they know what they're talking about. One of the things that I love about Stampin' Up! The Matchy Matchy is fantastic. All right, so let's bring in our sprig punch and or bow punch. And we'll try and do a, a couple of little ones. I'm not sure how, whether we'll use them or not, but let's just see what happens. All right, let's put this aside. All right. We're gonna do a little bit of adhering. So I think I'm gonna layer that small one on top of the larger one before we put that paintbrush down. Or maybe we'll just use the parakeet party, I don't know. Let's see. I don't wanna make it too busy. 
I don't know. I kind of like it. Okay, let's let's go for it. So I'm gonna snip off because I don't want this to go too far over the edge of the die cut. So I'm I'm just snipping off the very um, end of the branch there, and I'm gonna overlap them and adhere them right here in the center. And um, let's see. I'll use a little bit for the sake of time. Let's use a little stamp and seal plus just a little bit and I'll adhere these right overlapping into the center. There we go. Ordinarily I would like to use the liquid, the mono multi-purpose liquid glue, but I think it would be a bit messy. All right. And then, um, Let's do it again for our little sprigs that we made, the little gray granite ones. And these I don't mind because they're shorter, so they're just gonna kind of overlap. This would be really cool if these were silver. I think it, the gray granite goes with the designer series paper though, so I think we're okay. There we go. And then we're gonna take our paintbrush and just kind of angle it and we'll use some Stampin' Dimensionals to, to put that up. So here we go. I am enamored with this paintbrush. How about you? Do you guys have tools? I got a pink drill of my own for Christmas. I'm so excited for it. I haven't used it yet. It's been two whole months and a couple of days since Christmas. Um, but spring is coming and I have definitely some projects on my list for my pink, my pink drill. And I wanted one that I didn't have to share. Because in our house, someone's always looking for the drill. And it's always in the garage and I can never find it. So I wanted my own. I'm pretty excited about that. All right. And then let's go ahead and grab some mini glue dots and the gingham, the black and white gingham ribbon that we have, I'm going to put that ribbon bow right on the top of that paintbrush. By the way, when I die cut that paintbrush, I noticed that it made a little hole um, right in the cut. So if you wanted to put twine or something on there, you could do that too. But this is my favorite ribbon. It goes with this black and poppy parade. It actually goes with anything. All right, here we go. And we're gonna put this right down in the center. And I don't know, I think I, think, I, think I will. Let's try to put it on dimensionals, let's see. We'll adhere these two die cuts together. And then we will, um, I kind of like it to the side. Do I want it up and down? No, I think it looks more interesting to the side a little bit. All right, let's grab a couple more Stampin' Dimensionals and the Take Your Pick tool. And I'm actually going to put the dimensionals right on that piece of acetate because I don't want to go outside of the area um, that the dimensionals will show once we put our die cut, our layered die cuts on. There we go. Oh, Beth, when you moved out, your dad made you a toolbox. That's so cute. And you still have it. I have a toolbox. And for the longest time, I um, would buy tools for my toolbox. And they always ended up in the garage. And I always had a fight about which tools were actually mine. Unless they were girly looking tools. And then, of course... Okay, so here we go. Is that not cute? Oh, we have it upside down. We have it upside down. Uh, let's see if I can pull it right off. Oh good, I think it's gonna pull off. 
All right, so don't be me. Make sure that it opens the right way <laughs> before you stick it down. I think we need a little bling too because I think that bling is amazing. There we go. All right. And then there's our sentiment. We have a nice backdrop for our floating. So you see our floating paintbrush. Is that not cute? So let's go ahead and let's see. I love that, Beth, that your dad made you a toolbox. Let's see what kind of, I wonder if we have, we could color, we could color, we could color rhinestones. I think that might look cute. Let's see, hmm. I'm seeing really colorful stuff here. <laughs> and we don't want really colorful. Let's take one more look. Let's see what we have. We may have to forego the bling, which would be pretty sad, but it's still okay because I think the card is adorable. I love that paintbrush and I love that it's pretty girly. Oh, we could use silver. We could use the festive pearls and use silver. That would definitely work. Let's do that. Let's give a little silver. I think that red is not orange enough for that poppy parade, but we could do silver and we'll stick them all on the gray granite. There we go. All right, there is our card for tonight. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for the hearts, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. So you could do this with, you could do this with any die cut shape. You wouldn't have to have the circles there if you wouldn't want to, but I love circles. And like I said, every opportunity that I get, I use those deckled circles. So what we use tonight, let's talk about it really quickly. We use the trusty tools and um, there is a stamp set and mat coordinating dies. And you guys, there are all sorts of dies there, all sorts of dies that you could use. There is the coordinating designer series paper. We won't flip through it, but I will grab it. I have to get it back into the um, wrapper, but so very nice colors. There's a paintbrush, so I was pointing to that because I was on the fence about which color to use um, for the paintbrush, but you see there's a paintbrush that you could use there um, as well. And I think that this is Lost Lagoon. There's one with crushed curry and there's all kinds of tools, so super cute. We used also the deckled circles dies and then finally we use the festive pearls don't forget that tonight is the last night for celebration so there's still um lots of goodies that you can choose from this brochure tonight ends it tomorrow um we'll start the new online exclusive so in the description above there is a link to my online shop. If you want to take a look at the new um, products that are coming out there, there are some super 
cute and super fun things there. They're only available online. Um, and next week, um, we will have, oh, next week is the first um, Thursday of the month. So we're actually going to have a free card class. So we'll get some details up about that too. All right, let's go ahead and turn the camera up so we can say good night. Let's make sure that I don't flip you. There we go. All right, my friends. Well, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me tonight. I really appreciate that you let me hang out and create with you. Thank you so much for hanging out during celebration. I had a fun time. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next week with a card class. So we'll be making three or four cards and you can earn them for free if you would like. So, all right, you guys, thanks so much for being here. Have a fantastic weekend and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.